open up tomorrow, Friday, February 3rd, against Payne College out of Augusta. And, and in baseball, there's everybody's always excited for opening opening day. So we're we're excited about tomorrow. We've got 12 returning senior players. And as I told our guys the other day, this is probably the most ambitious schedule we've had in all my years at Flagler College. And what I mean by that is we have five, we're playing five schools this year that have won national championships in the course of their programs over over time. So it's uh, it's an ambitious schedule. It's all Division II schools. Of course, the Peach Belt Conference, is, as we all feel, is the toughest Division II conference in the country. And there's a lot of preseason ranked teams. Um, but I think we got it. We got the group that I really feel could handle this well this year. We've got, like I said, 12, uh, 12 seniors uh, led by uh, returning all-conference uh, player Mike Mayaka, who is also a preseason conference favorite and, um, you know, just a great pitcher. So we've got a, a great leader of our pitching staff. and We've got some really good guys to help complement him, you know, up and down the, the lineup with, with pitchers. We have been battling the injury bug a little bit in preseason. We're still waiting for uh, Lorenzo Butler to return to action. He was our starting center fielder last year and has been in our program and is a tremendous player. Uh, we've also, also Bryce Evans, our returning leading hitter, is out with an injury. So uh, we'll be anxious to get those guys back, hopefully uh, within the month. But, uh, but I feel good about what we have going into this weekend. And, um, you know, just a, a really a good group of guys that have worked hard up to this point, and I know they want to win. Yeah, the good thing about this year's schedule, we have our first three weekends uh, are non-conference, so we get ready for Georgia College on the fourth weekend of the season. And, uh, you know, as, as we all know, the Peach Belt schedule is, we have to do well in that in order to go to postseason. So we'll, we'll gear up for Georgia College. They're always a, a nationally ranked program and they're always uh, tough. Uh, we do open up at home, which is a good thing. Um, earlier in the year, we'll also play North Nova Southeastern, who won the Division II National Championship last year. So we'll be anxious to see how we compete and compete against the uh, preseason favorites for the national recognition. But, uh, but I like the energy of this year's team, and I really hope that we'll have a great uh, great crowd down here. And, and I like I tell our players, you know, the, their energy helps bring people to the ballpark. I mean, people want to come to games and watch players with, that play with energy, excitement, enthusiasm, and all those things that we preach to our guys. So I'm hoping that uh, we have that group of guys. I feel like we do, and, and we're looking forward to putting on a good show for all our fans that come out and follow our program. We've really got a good staff. Of course, Jonathan Holt, he's our pitching coach and recruiting coordinator. He's been with me now for seven years and, and done a great job of bringing in some really quality players into the program. And uh, Bruce Larkins is a new coach that we, we have with us. He's been in the junior college ranks, but he's got a good network with community colleges, so I think he'll aid us in recruiting and, of course, on the field responsibilities. And, and Max Cruder, who pitched for me, a few years ago is was the pitching coach at Eckerd and they had a coaching change so he joined our staff so he's helping us with the pitchers and then of course we have Dusty Rhodes back been battling some health issues but uh, he's uh, he's a great uh, great person to have and a great teacher of the game, game great experience so uh, you know I, I think we have one of the best staffs in all of college baseball. You know, Dylan Jones has been a been a staple for us in the outfield. He's a quality player, and, and uh, he'll be our leadoff guy. Um, of course, Butler and Evans, once they come back from injuries, they'll be guys that'll be a big part of the lineup, especially near the top. Uh, Jake Hathaway, senior right fielder, has been swinging about well. Uh, Josh Collier, a local product from Menendez High School, has done a great job at shortstop. I'm looking forward to a breakout year from him. Cole Andreka, another senior at second base, is, is a steady player. Uh, we got Bobby Bassler uh, at first base. He's from Middleburg, Florida, solid performer, as well as Jake Taylor from Fernandina Beach, who's, uh, who's going to do a great job for us at third base. And behind the plate, a four-year starter, Igor Baez. He'll, he'll bat in the middle of the order. He led our team in RBIs last season, so we're expect, expecting another big year 
uh, out of Vigor. The rest of the rotation, Dustin Dye will be a starter for us on the mound. Uh, in relief, who another pitcher who's coming back from a knee injury, uh, Jordan Doyle, we're expecting big things out of him. Uh, closing out games in, in most cases this year will be McLean Larson, who's been a four-year pitcher in our program and, and throws strikes and is, is tough to hit because he throws from, from down under. So, so we're really counting on you know all these seniors to, to help us.